It feels like being a part of Dumbledore's army. <laughs> I'm going to read a poem that I wrote two days after the election. That morning in school, a classmate of mine said something along the lines of, of I know that some people aren't happy with the way the election turned out, but crying about it is just ridiculous. That made me angry. I had just spent the entire previous day at home crying. So I didn't say anything at the moment, but later that day, I wrote a poem. And it made its way online to Young Writers Project, and then to VPR. And I'd like to share it with you today. So this is Don't Tell Me I Can't Cry. Don't tell me I can't cry because I care. Don't tell me I can't cry because America has told the world, has told our children that the hardworking, brilliant, courageous woman can be beaten by the lazy class bully who doesn't know how to keep his hands to himself. should have shattered. Instead, a bulletproof layer was built and all the cracks we worked so hard to make were resealed with words of hate. Don't tell me I can't cry because my entire family has been crushed. The people I love most rot to the ground because we fought like hell and still lost. Because this is her story, but it's ours too. But don't tell me I can't have hope. I can't matter. I can't speak up. I can't keep pounding at the ceilings and the walls. Because sometimes we need to be angry in order to fight. Sometimes we need to cry in order to say to see clearly. And God damn it, right now we all. 2020 to see how the world fell apart and how we can rebuild it. So, don't tell me I can't cry because I care and don't even try to tell me that I can't care because if you don't, it's because you won't be affected because the cards have been stacked in your favor for so long that one reshuffling won't matter. And because you don't love anyone who's been dealt the wrong hand, either that or you're just stupid. But I'm not. I don't know how to act, but I know that I have to, and I know that I can. So unless you know that too, do not tell me that I can cry, because I will anyway.